Sally and welcome back to another YouTube video on my channel. <laughs> I know I don't look the best right now, but that is because I don't have a ring light in front of the camera. But that is what this is. So I was looking at YouTube reviews on ring lights and I found that the newer ring lights are really popular. I had something over £100 in my bank and I just, I was trying to save up, but found this £90 ring light and decided to waste all my money basically. So I'm just gonna get straight into unboxing this because I know how boring YouTube videos can be with really long intros. My address is on the other side, so it's fine. But this box is massive. Um, it only has, it has like loose cell tape there. I can open it without any key or anything. Yeah, the box that it comes in, let me just try to stand up. The box that it comes in is massive. So let's just hope I got my money's worth for £90. So this is what the inside of the box looks like when you first open it. It's got all this like stuff in. And then I'm just going to take this out. I think it's just this box. I think they just put it in like a bigger box for no reason. So I was right. They did just put it in a bigger box for no reason. This is the actual box. I mean, it's still big, but not as big as the other one. Hoping I didn't get scammed off. Let's see. So the first thing when you open the box is this. I think this is the stand. The stand is like 155 centimetres, I think. That's just a little bit taller than me. I think I'm 150. And then the second thing is the bag that it comes in. So this is the box that the actual ring light comes in. We're just gonna unzip this. It smells a bit funky. So what is this? This comes in the bag. Don't know what this is. Oh, this is the cables. All the cables. So these are the cables. Cables. And then some like little compartment things. So. I think this is like a Bluetooth remote. And then this is to attach your camera or your phone holder. If you don't have a camera like me, I don't have a camera. And then this is a phone holder. This is for if you want white light, I think. And then this is obviously for if you want like an orange, like sun kissed light. So I'm just gonna put them aside. Hopefully I don't break them or hopefully they haven't come broken. And then in this bag is the actual ring light. This is massive. Compared to the ring light that you're on now, which is broken, and just use it for a tripod, this is huge. Let me try and show you a comparison. So this is the ring light that I have you on. This cost me £40. This is a 200 centimetre ring light, and it has phone hold and everything. That's just like normal size, it's fine. And then this is my new one. I can't even hold it in frame properly. Shall I show you? That is crazy. So... I'm just gonna unbox the ring light for you guys. So this comes in packaging, pretty easy to open as well. Just a cardboard box. There's so much like unnecessary plastic as well. What is that? So this is the stand that you put the ring light on. Oh, and then you have to flip these out, I think. So you've got to untwist this and then pull the legs out. That makes sense. So you've got one twist this little nozzle thing. And then the legs come inwards. You've got to like twist them out. I'm struggling with this and I shouldn't be. There we go. Right, right, I've done that now. Now I can tighten it. Oh, it came off. It came off, guys. I think I opened it a bit too much. Okay. It's, it's not broken. I'm just being dramatic. But So tighten that now. And then we have a good little stand. So I'll put this stand here and then I'll set it up. So I'll put you a bit up like that. So we've got to somehow figure out how to put this on here, guys. I don't know what this is. Maybe it goes like this. Maybe not. I think I should read the instructions. So I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to come back to you guys when I put it up. Because this is going to take me at least half an hour so it's all set up i set it up all by myself i'm actually really proud of it it looks pretty good it's massive though 
but I just can't figure out how to turn it on. Probably because I haven't read the instruction. I would have just thought that like it would just work. I would have just thought it works when you turn it on. Am I being stupid? Dimmer. That's how you make it dimmer. How do you actually turn it on? So I figured out why it wasn't working. So to actually get it working, there's a little nozzle under here that says dimmer. And like you can make it dim and light and it's, it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna quickly put you on the ring light. It's really, really bright. There is a cloth thing, like um another piece you can buy from Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. That makes it so your eyes can stand the brightness. I'm gonna just close my curtains to give full effect. I mean they're only white curtains, but still. So this gives you full effects of what the light looks like now. It's pretty good. It's kind of annoying because if I want to sit down, I literally have to like pu push the nozzle forward. It doesn't go any lower than this, which is a bit disappointing. Or maybe I'm just being stupid, it might. But it's literally taller than me, the lowest you can have it. I'm 4'11 and the lowest you can have it is taller than me, I think, if I'm not being stupid. But I'm just going to, I'm going to put these ones on. And I'm going to see how these ones work. I probably wouldn't ever use these ones because I really like the white. I only really ever use white light. But I'm going to try them anyway because they came with it. So I'll try them and I will show you guys what they look like. Because obviously some of you guys watching this video will want more golden toned lighting instead of just the white light. So I'll show you guys. It's kind of scary putting them on because you think you're going to break it. I don't know if I can put them on with the light on. I'm just going to turn it off to just be careful. I'm just going to show you the process of taking one of these off. So some of them overlap each other. Can you see? Like that's overlapped. And then some of them, well, yeah, they all overlap, but then some of them underlap. But this one, I think I put them on a bit weirdly because like it didn't fit perfectly. But I'll just take these off for you and just show you. Like, it's scary because you think you're going to break them. It's scary if you get something for the first time. It's scary, like, doing stuff like this with pieces that are so fragile because you think you're going to break them. So I'm just going to flip the switch. Wow, that's really bright. So that's what the orange one looks like. It's really pretty, actually. So this is what the orange light looks like. It's not really that different. I'm just going to sit down. Yeah, the orange light isn't really that different, I don't think. I think I kind of prefer the orange one. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look at the clips back. But they're both really, really pretty. And I think that if you invest into a more expensive ring light, then your videos are just going to look better quality. Like, I have been doing YouTube for like five years, but seriously, for like about two years. And I have bought... I can't remember if I bought just two or if I bought three, but as you can tell... This one is a lot worse quality. Let me just, I don't even think I can take the ring. Oh yeah, I can. Let me just show you the ring. Like the stand, it's still, the newer one is still very better, much quality. But a stand doesn't really matter because it's just got to be better quality to hold a bigger ring light. But this is my old ring light. It's broken because I don't have to lead to it. Someone snapped it, but... That's not the point. It's like a lot worse quality and it's not even, it wasn't even that much cheaper. This ring light cost me £40. I got it from eBay though, so not a very good place to get it from. It was a lot more overpriced than it should have been. This shouldn't have been £40 for this. Like, I did really get ripped off. The phone holder was so bad. It actually broke and I had to get a new one. I'd really advise away from getting these ones but of course if you're just starting out with youtube then you're not gonna really want to invest in a 90 pound ring light these are okay for beginners but like if you've been doing youtube for a couple of years i really recommend getting one of these light these lights not these lights you can already tell the quality difference from having a better ring light to be honest so it also came with this usb like a little red thing like a little remote so basically what you do with this there's a little on and off switch at the top there and there's a button for camera like an ios camera the top the big button and then there's a button for android i'll just show you that there 
and this is really really useful for youtubers because i do this and i know a lot of other youtubers probably will do if they don't have one of these i have to start the video and then i have to like cut the start out and cut the end out obviously when i go to stop the video so this is really really useful because you can just get in frame and start it with this so this came with it and this is really really useful i also want to talk to you about the carry bag so i didn't need this but but I just want it to be extra. I honestly, I'm never going to take this ring light anywhere. But I still decided to pay extra to get a case. So a normal ring light, just without the case or anything, is £70. This was £90. Because I got... I mean, it's useful though, if you're like a photographer and everything. But I'm just never going to use it. It is just a bag. Like, I know in some of them, there is, like, compartments where you put the ring in. This one is just a bag for the one that I'm going to link. But uh, it's still pretty, like, protective and everything. There's, like, there's, like, padding on both sides. It's really, really thin, though, but it's still protective. So this is the box just for the ring light. And if you compare this box to my old ring light... That's actually just embarrassing. So thank you guys so, so much for watching until the end of the video. I love you all so much. Thank you for helping me reach over 1,200 subscribers. Like, even though I haven't been posting, I've still gained subscribers, which is amazing. Also, thank you for you all helping me get over 100,000 views on my tongue piercing video. I'm really, really grateful with that as well. I never thought I'd be able to accomplish that. Anyway, thank you so, so much. This is the end of the video. Now I'm not going to keep going on. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.